So what I tell patients in terms of trying to figure out whether they could possibly have heart disease is if you start to notice anything going on with exertion that goes away with rest, then you, you need to be a little bit aware that there could be a problem. First of all, you need to know whether you have the risk factors for heart disease. And, so, and the common risk factors, as we know, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, meaning your cholesterol is high, you have diabetes, you may be a smoker, you may be obese, inactive, or you have a family history of someone in your family having sudden cardiac death of having a, an MI at a young age, or they had a stent or open heart surgery at a young age, then those are the kinds of um, risk factors you need to be aware of. And so if when you're you know, just doing activities of daily living, you start having discomfort in your chest, shortness of breath, some people get dizziness, some people just feel fatigue, um, exhausted. Some people may complain of pain between the shoulder blades or heartburn is a big one. So if you have any of these symptoms, you know you have the risk factors and you're having any of these symptoms that occur with exertion and go away with rest, it is important for you to you know, find a cardiologist. Other risk factors for women that you may not necessarily see in men would be menopause. So surgical menopause, they're women who've had their uterus removed and ovaries removed at a young age. That puts them at increased risk for heart disease five years or so later. Um, women may have early menopause, or even if they have menopause at the regular age of about 50, you know, at about a decade later, women and men are at equal risk for having heart disease um, once a woman no longer, longer has those hormones circulating. So that's one of the biggest things. Also, hormone replacement therapy can put a woman at risk. There's been, there have been a lot of studies about this, and um, at one point it was good to take hormone replacement therapy to prevent heart disease. At one point it was not good. I think at, at this point in time, we believe that after five years of taking hormone replacement therapy, that puts you at increased risk for heart disease. So women have some of these uh, special risk factors that you may not find in men. Also, um, women may be at more risk for having uh, connective tissue disorders. That puts them um, at risk of having heart disease. Also, cancer may put you at increased risk of having heart disease, but this can affect both men and women. So our message really is to try to get women to be more aware of their risk, realize it is as much as a risk for them, and to get them to come in earlier.